Hello, I'm Chris Hankin. I'm a professor of computer science here at uh, Imperial College and I'm director of the Institute for Security Science and Technology. And uh, I've recently chaired a, a big report for the Government Office of Science called the Foresight Future Identities Project. I'm a theoretical computer scientist of some 30 years standing and what I'm really curious about is how the techniques I've developed over that uh, career can be applied to big data, uh, making better uh, cyber systems and also the identity uh, issues. It seems to be becoming more and more difficult for people to opt out of uh, having some kind of web presence. Um, so, so basically going forward um, we will all have a very substantial presence uh, in the digital world whether we like it or not. We've identified three key trends. Uh, one was um, the issue around um, hyperconnectivity by which I mean uh, our online and offline um, existence, our online and offline identities will become somewhat blurred. Uh, there will probably be a merging of the offline versus the online. Uh, a second key trend is, is the blurring of private and public. Um, in 2009, uh, for the first time, there were more people using these kind of social media sites uh, in the UK than there were people not using them. So uh, to the extent that one can gain access to the data on social media, uh, there, there's a potential for much more of our private data to become really public property. And then the third trend we identified was less to do with technology and more to do with, uh, uh, with social pluralism. Technology may have a role to play there in terms of creating um, group membership feelings amongst the minority groups that, that, that we're going to have more of. At this particular point in time, we've seen a massive uh, explosion in the amount of data that's out there about each and every one of us. So massively parallel computing is really going to be important to the corporate world and to government uh, in order to be able to deal with the huge volumes of data which are being created. In order to get value from that data and to use it, we need to have processing power as well. The challenges really fall into two camps. One is just about how, how we can develop algorithms for actually processing the data. And if you're bringing data sets together, how do you maintain the privacy of the people who have provided the, that, that data in the first place. And I'm looking forward actually to the next uh, 10 years. It's, uh, it's going to be an exciting time because there are so many new developments and I think we're only just becoming aware of some of the challenges and there are some really fascinating problems to be looked at. <laughs>